We keep this proverbial show car drifting around the corners of change as we watch the final video of the day entitled Real Dopamine. Sun, ice, sauna, weights, runs, walks, hard work, breath work, meditate, visualize, design, serve, connect, and create. Do real work. You'll never reach your potential if fake dopamine is always within reach. Bro. Show it quick hitter. Show it quick hitter. Huh? I'm telling you, you know what? A lot of, you know, JK was talking, talking about diving into rabbit holes of dopamine. And you'd be surprised where people get dopamine from. They get it from things like affirmation. Hey, just saying I'm going to do something, I get dopamine. Oh, well, that's all I needed. I got it. Guess I don't even got to do that anymore. I already know what that feels like, right? It's insane how we get cheap dopamine from so many different places. But you know the dopamine that makes me feel good? is when I get done with a yoga session with Humble Warrior. That dopamine is unlike mm. anything else that I feel, the relaxation, the, the power in my body. I feel all the circulation and I feel my breath, right? I, I feel that dopamine. You know what else I feel like? After I've been 45 minutes about in the gym or wherever I'm working out and I can feel my body actually get bigger, right? I can actually feel myself taking up more space. That's the dopamine I look at. You know what the dopamine that really helps me out? was when I got off that that class last night and it was at 9.15 or what have you. And I'm sitting there by myself in my living room just going, man, I really hope I help, help those people. I really hope that that helped out because I feel great giving all that information. As a matter of fact, I gave more information than I thought I was going to, right? That's the stuff that I think about. And I'm like, man, that's the dopamine that I look forward to on a daily basis. The dopamine that comes from helping people being a part of society that's really positive, being a part of your own life when you push yourself forward. That that day when you're done and you feel 10 foot tall with six foot strides, that's the day you're like, man, I feel amazing today. That's the dopamine I chase. That's what I look for because th mm. that can't be replaced by anything but your own self energy. Mm. I love what you're talking about, man. The Real true dopamine. There is something about going and putting some heavy ass shit on a bar, picking it up, putting it down, getting done with that and going and looking in the mirror. And you just, man, oh, look at that little striation. Oh, look at them bank. Fuck, I feel good. And then to take it all the way, hey, full circle, everything we've been talking about, you get done with that. It's hard not to stand a little taller. It's hard not to pull them shoulders back a little bit. It's hard not to have that chin up and looking around like, yeah, I own this fucking place. It's, yeah, I feel good right here, baby. Are you finding dopamine in this little fucking thing, right? Are you always just fucking da, 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 da. any free moments you get? right? Are you just consuming? Are you taking an opportunity to maybe in those moments? Yeah, you do pick up the phone, but ooh, let me save that in that bookmark. Let me come back to that later. Ooh, that's something I can work on. Ooh, let me follow up on that email. Let me make this move, right? People say, oh, I'm so tired. I got so much on my plate. I can't go work out. No, you're not tired. You're just uninspired. You just haven't felt what it's like to tap into true dopamine. You haven't felt what it's like to be surrounded with the right humming beans. People always like to say your network is your net worth and then hang out with entire fucking morons. Hang around with people who are only dragging them back down the mountain, attached tether cords. Come on, Bobby. Why are you making those moves? Why are you getting better? Why are you chasing real dopamine? Get your ass back down here. How many of those people you got in your life? I hope not very many because I ain't got a single one. Because when I approach Swirl One and I say, hey, man, I, I, I'm thinking a little crazy. I want to do this. I, I think we should jump. He looks at me. He says, how high? I call DZ. I say, hey, bro, I, I, I think it's time to make a jump, dog. He says, how high? I go to the entire Diamond Ham fam and I say, hey, you guys, I, I need you to do a little jumping for me. They don't say, oh, well, Cap, what's in it for me? What do you, what do you mean? Why do I have to jump? They know what's coming around if they simply choose to take a leap. So again, they say, how high? That's what we've built around here. Not people that are chasing after the fake and the nonsense and the bullshit. People who are chasing after the real and only want the real for you. So why would you not want to tap into that? Why would you not want to be better? Why would you not want to chase the real dopamine? You can even get real dopamine from a book. Pick up a book and read 10 pages and tell me your brain's not swirling on all the great things that you just learned and what can I do and where can I go? I think about the g -Lus, right? Glue never fucking picks up a book. Mr. Glue hates reading. And that motherfucker's been 
burning through shit now. Same with Mrs. G. Lou. What choices are you making to add to that dopamine? Are you taking in fake dopamine, Netflix, X, Instagram, blah, 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 blah? Are you taking in the real dopamine? And if you heard some of those things, run, walk, ice, hot, sauna, and you started saying, ah, ah, ee, ah, ah, you know you're complicating life too much, and you need to just start doing the easy, real things that start leading to an easy, real life. Bro, mm. Jeff Oglesby just hit it right on the head right there. After listening to Forge and Fuel, it gets my dopamine flowing, makes me want to do better for myself and everyone around me. That that's the whole goal of what we're doing here. If and it right there, we've already done our job. One person is catching energy and dopamine from this, where they're gonna go out and create a better day for themselves just because they were here. Hey, I'm not saying they wouldn't do it without us, but if we can be that extra nudge to help them do one more rep or to do those reps even better than they did before and have better form. If, if we can make them so cognizant of what they're doing that they really press their toes into the ground while they're doing that rep, I promise you they're going to get more out of every rep today because they came in here and listened to this than, than if they didn't. Again, they still might have been intrinsically motivated to go out and do that, but what he just said right there, it's that, it's that little creatine boost. It's that little pre-workout. It's that pre-day workout, right? And that's what we got to look at inside of here. That's this is this is what gets you prepared for your day. We wake up at five. I mean, think about this. Me and Cap get up, and we're this is how we start our day. Are you kidding me? You can't not get on this. I feel like, all right, baby, give me some of that weight. Who needs a problem? Where's the issue? Let me call somebody, right? How you doing, Tilly? Good to see you. But that's the truth. Like, you can't, you're not stopping me today. As soon as I get off here. This again, I'm starting so high energy today. The world will never be able to take that away. That energy transfers that I see all day long from people trying to suck my energy out. They don't have the energy. They don't have the power. Their battery isn't strong enough to be able to pull the energy from me. As a matter of fact, I'm probably going to give them a charge before they go ahead and deplete anything I got going on. I'm telling you right now that doping we talked about a little while ago. That's what it is. This is it. Damn straight, man. I was thinking about that the other day. We got off the show and I got to the gym and I was just like, ah! Ah! I was like, what the fuck? Why am I? I haven't even drank my pre-workout yet. Why am I so hyped? And I was like, forging fuel. I just started my day with my homies, my best friends talking some shit. I got other people fired up, right? Throw that angel quote up there. F and F is my pre-workout. What's yours, baby? Huh? What you know about that? Throw that JK quote up there above it too, D's. It's wild that dopamine's peak is highest when you're on the way to something rather than reaching the destination. There are no rewards. There are no products. There are no goals. It is not process over product. The process is the product. You are the product. Getting better every single day is the product. We're starting to get it, Swirl One. The triggers are starting to trip. I'm thinking they're starting to cross the T's and dot the I's and draw the lines in between the dots. What say you? I'm telling you, bro. I, I'm just getting fired up right here. I'm, hey, I'm about to go get me some some push-ups real quick. Hold on. <laughs>